<laughs> oh my god. So I mean, it's hard for me to believe this considering like um these amazing onset stories that you've had. But you've said that you have a crazier sex life off screen than yeah. on it. So yeah. Well, it's yeah. <laughs> Where to start? What I can say? What not? Sorry to all my ex-boyfriends. I will try to go enough around <laughs> so we don't know about who we speak because my friends will watch this. So if I whatever I say, they will know about who I speak. But they will know already anyway. So we are uh, with my friends. We are very open mm -hmm. to talk about this, but they always make a jokes of my ex-boyfriends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They like my stories. Uh, well, I love uh, to be short. I love fucking guys in uh, in this. Mm -hmm. It's my fetish. Oh, you like to fuck guys in the ass? Yeah. Oh, so you like to peg guys? Okay. Yeah. It's oh, sorry, American way. Peg guys. I need to. I need my vocabulary is still still it's very okay. simple. Fucking a guy in the ass is is equally acceptable. <laughs> it means the same thing. <laughs> I am I am on it. I work on my English here. It's like yeah. My English is still very broken. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I like to dominate guys. I like to try new things. So it's like I've done much crazier things in my private life, definitely. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, I had awesome ex-boyfriends. What we do tonight? Okay. <laughs> it was never a problem. Oh, I don't know. Even they will propose. Like, they trusted me. I trusted them. So mm -hmm. that's the big thing. And it's like, let's do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so easy. Uh, one night dressing up. One night all another things. <laughs> another night something you, my sister. Oh, my God. She had a trauma, I think. So, <laughs> okay. I need to say this story. So, yeah. Uh, my mom, like, back days, she, she liked to make a bread sometimes herself. Mm -hmm. So she had this wooden thing. And I stick this in the side of my ex-boyfriend's ass. And I... Oh, <laughs> like a French baguette? So like a long... Like a baguette, right? No baguette. Like a the, long the piece of bread? Thing, oh, oh, the, the rolling pin. Yeah, rolling pin. Oh, I thought you stuck a baguette up his ass. No, uh, the rolling pin. I did, okay. You just gave me it. Yeah. I'm I mean... Count, came from, uh, it'd be a little I, rough, but... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeasty. It's It's... Yeah, I never... It's so delicious. <laughs> I love baguettes. <laughs> I love baguettes too. I just love baguettes. <laughs> okay, rolling pin. So yeah, and because sometimes we we'll we will be searching like what we should stick in your in the ass, and we just find anything, you know. And this time I was like, "Fuck! I will need to throw it because my mom will smell it. Definitely, we need to throw it. But doesn't matter. We was corny, so I did it, and we was sure we are alone." <laughs> And then my middle sister, luckily, she was not child then. Mm -hmm. So she and I didn't see nothing. <laughs> oh, we told you to knock. <laughs> so sometimes she will enter and she will see my ex-boyfriend dressed like a woman. And it's the same, like, we told you to knock. <laughs> it's like, why you do this? <laughs> yeah. Since then, she, she don't want to even talk about it. She's like. Yeah, <laughs> my friends are discussed by me, though, like who are not in the business because uh, I will go that far for me. It's funny for them. It's not. Yeah. And they will arrive at my place. What you did with this glass? Yeah. <laughs> what you did with this? <laughs> like, Has this been up somebody's ass? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And they are like, until I'm, no, I promise it's safe. I will not give you to drink from that. Maybe. <laughs> Dude, this, I'm sorry, but this kind of sounds like a drinking game. Like, you should have people over and then just have things around in your living room that you've stuck up people's asses. Yeah. And the game is, like, what what went up so-and-so's ass? And then, like, if they get it wrong, they have to take a shot. And oh then, like, if God. they get it right, That's then you so take cool. a shot. Two of my best friends, they will nail it. I'm even afraid they, they are, like, they, they, they know. <laughs> but see, but this is going to challenge you because now you're going to want to stick things up a guy's ass that people wouldn't guess that you would put up a guy's ass, like a I baguette. I will record that. Thank you. And you're I welcome. will send you this video. I would love to see it. <laughs> I will be like, they will, yeah, they will nail the game. I would love to Like, see even it. they don't know exactly, they will, they will guess. I, I mean, they know. <laughs> they will be like, uh-huh, this guy has this. <laughs> yeah. Um, and on the set, it's it's just like what producers say. It's not like you can go so far. Like I, yeah. yeah so it's yeah. 
That's yeah, there's a there's definitely there's, there's definitely rules. Believe it or not, there's rules in porn about what you can stick up people's asses, especially if you're on OnlyFans. Sorry. They like don't want you to put anything up any orifice that doesn't look like a penis. I just remember one story. I was near to choke myself. So once I tied up one of my exes and I tied up his hands and his balls. And he's expecting some like story now. And <laughs> start tickling him. <laughs> <Start> pulling him. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know why I did this. I just remember this story. <laughs> yeah. He must have been pissed. Oh, he, yeah, of course. I shaved his leg as well the same night when he fell asleep in the butt. <laughs> I love doing pranks, like, big time, yeah. big time. Yeah, yeah, definitely don't ever pass out drunk around this woman. You don't know <laughs> what you're going to wake up with in your butt the next morning. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. 